sobering. Tennessee's governor prepared parents for the latest TCAP standardized test scores, which show historic learning losses. In Shelby County schools this year, fewer students were considered proficient or performing at the state's expectation of their grade level grades three through five saw the biggest losses. Only 11% of students were proficient. That's down 28% compared to the end of the 2018-2019 school year. Math saw some of the worst scores. In fact, the only improvement, high school social studies. SES was one of the last to return to in-person learning because district leaders were concerned most of its students would be more severely impacted by COVID than more affluent white districts. How long do you think that this could take before students are caught up? It's going to take years to come. State Representative Mark White is the chief of the Education Administration Committee. So that's why it's so important this coming year that we keep our students in the classroom. Pointing to other districts like Arlington Community Schools, where only 16% of its students were fully virtual last year. The district did significantly better than other districts, ranking first in the state for math in lower grades. The superintendent called the results simply amazing. Other suburban schools, however, saw dips, especially in English language arts. There's a lot of federal money coming in right now, uh, as well as the state money. Across the state, we got $4.1 billion from the federal government to put in education. White says three quarters of a billion dollars went to Shelby County Schools. In a statement, SCS says it will use that money to overcome the learning losses, like offering teachers more training to improve literacy rates, lowering the adult to student ratio, and offering more tutoring in ACT prep. Anything else you guys can do at a state level to help with this? Well, you know, since we were, uh, finished session on May the 5th, uh, it has not slowed down. We might as well be back in session. The education, those who are on the education committee, we're looking for answers right now. Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3.